story to tell. The bug missile system is a family of self-propelled medium-range surface-to-air missile systems developed by the Soviet Union and its successor state, the Russian Federation. The system using solid rocket propulsion that provides defense against high-performance aircraft and cruise missiles at low and medium altitudes at ranges of up to 30 kilometers, maneuvering with overloads of up to 12 units. The Bug Missile System is the successor to the 2K-12 Cup, NATO reporting name SA-6 Gen 4. The first version of the Bug adopted into service carried designation 9K-37 Bug and was identified in the West with the NATO reporting name Gadfly, as well as the US Department of Defense designation SA-11. The 9K-37 bug was developed in accordance with the resolution of the CPSU, Central Committee and USSR Council of Ministers, dated January 13, 1972, using two self-propelled mouths, the 9A-38 and the 9A-310. The first bug with the 9M-38 missile became operational in 1978 associated with the Cup 3M9M3 missiles. This became known as the Cup M4 system. However, the full configuration of Buck continued testing from November 1977 through 1979 and became operational in 1980. The system is known in the Russian Federation as 9K37 Buck with the complete system, including the radar and support equipment. The original missile used by the Berg system is the 9M38, which was subsequently replaced with the 9M317 in the Berg M12 upgrade. 9M38 is a single-stage and solid-fuel missile. It resembles a US Tatar and standard naval air defense missiles. Each missile is 5.55 meters long, weighs 690 kilograms and carries a relatively large 70 kilogram warhead, which is triggered by radar proximity fuse. The missile has semi-active radar guidance. It can engage targets at a range of 3.4 to 20.5 kilometers at altitudes over 3 kilometers. The range is reduced 5 to 15.4 kilometers when the target flies 30 meters above the ground. Maximum engagement altitude is 25 kilometers. The 9M30 missile has a hit probability of 70 to 93 percent. The bug can also fire other 9M9M3 missiles of the Cup M3 air defense missile system. A total of six targets can be engaged simultaneously by battery while they are flying on different bearings and at different altitudes and ranges. A typical battery comprises a command boss figure, a target acquisition radar figure, and six self-propelled mouths that act as a launcher vehicles. A specialist loader launcher vehicle that acts both as missile chance loader and additional launch unit support pair of launchers. A bug regiment comprises four such batteries and a regimental target acquisition battery with two long-range early warning search radars. A bug transporter erector launcher and radar vehicle is fitted with radar, digital computer, missile erector and launcher friend of foe identification system. It is operated by a crew of four and carries four missiles. Radar of Buck Taylor vehicle searches for targets, tracks them, 
and guide missiles on them. So if required, each Terra vehicle can operate autonomously. The radar detects aircraft flying at altitude over 3 km at a range of 65 to 77 km. Detection range is reduced to 32 to 41 km when aircraft fly at 30 to 100 meters above the ground. Low flying aircraft are detected at a range of 21 to 35 km. When Taylor operates autonomously, it takes about 24 to 27 seconds from target detection to missile launch. It can stop and launch its missiles in about 5 minutes from traveling. It also takes about 5 minutes to leave the firing position. The Buck M1 uses the GM569 chassis designed and produced by JSC Metro Wagon Mash. The crew compartment provides protection from small arms fire as well as being sealed to an NBC attack. The suspension either side consists of six dual road wheels with the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and four check return rollers which support the inside of the double pin track only. The Nike 37 SA11 Gadfly can run at a maximum speed of 65 km per hour on road and 45 km per hour on cross country with a maximum range of 500 km. The reload vehicle Nike A39M1 for the bulk battery resembles the Nike 37 SA11 Gadfly, but instead of a radar, they have a crane for loading missiles. They are capable of launching missiles directly, but require a cooperation of a fire dome equipped tailor for missile guidance. A reload vehicle can transfer its missiles to a tailor in around 13 minutes and can reload itself from stores in around 15 minutes. During the 2008 Eurasian War, Ukrainian President Yushchenko, at the time, according to an international judgment, was an unfriendly person to Russia, provided Georgia an unspecified number of bug anti-missile systems. There was no specific information on the bug version supplied by Ukraine to Georgia, but most of the information was bug M1 version with 9M38 rocket. Because at that time, the Ukrainian army only had this variant in the combat component. On August 8, 2008, a Russian Su-25 came from Budyanovsk to carry out the third strike that was shot down at the Zava. Some suggested that the Su-25 was shot down by OSA AKSA-8 but most of the comments suggested that it was shot down by the Buck M1. Also, on August 8, 2008, a huge shock happened when a Russian Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber taking off from the number 929 test facility at Astubinsk was shot down at the location between Gori and Skin Valley by Buck M1. Three of four crew members were killed. The next day on August 9, 2008, another Russian Su-25 from Budinovsk was shot down by Buck at the Zasva. The pilot was killed. During the entire war, at least three Su-25s and one Russian Tu-22M3 were shot down by Buck M1. According to analysts, it is surprising that four aircraft was shot down and that was a huge loss to the Russian Air Force because Georgia was only a small military force. Some experts have pointed out that electronic pressure systems do not seem to interfere and prevent Georgian air defense missiles in the conflict. And surprisingly, Russia do not provide effective kind of missiles against the missile system besides themselves. My video of SA-11 answer 
thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye, see you again in the next videos.